All right, I'm going to show you how to create a banyan tree. And I'm going to go over quick instructions of how to get started. When you have your paper today, first of all, decide if you want to have it in landscape or portrait. I have mine in landscape here. Uh, I like to start off with a line. You could use one of these rulers to do it, or you could draw it in by hand. So I'm going to go about right here towards the bottom. And I want to have lots of space up here for my tree. So I'm just going to draw a line here. Okay. Now when you draw your lines, you want to go a little bit lighter. I'm going to go darker right now so you guys can see it a little better on the video. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to get into this idea sheet here. So I made this up so you guys can see it. Uh, but it has a step-by-step -step how to create one of these trees. And you could change it and create it a little bit different, um, whatever you'd like to do there. To get started though, I like to start with the trunk on the bottom. So I'm going to do this shape here, getting started. And it's okay to do lines that are kind of wiggly and they're not perfectly straight. You want them to look more organic. After that, I'm just going to go ahead and start making my larger trunks of the tree. And I'm going to bring them all the way to the edge over here. Okay. And after that, I'm going to do three more that kind of come down here. So I'm going to start about right up in here. And the directions will kind of go over it as you go to. And you could do more, uh, but this is just kind of nice so they get spread out. But we're going to do the larger uh, branches coming in there. And then what I like to do is I'll start right here, and I'm going to work my way out to create this branch right here. Same thing over here. I'm going to go on the left side, and then this one's going to be over here. This branch goes here. You could even go like something like this too and branch them off that way. Uh, but then this last one here, you do have to do two of them. So I'm going to go starting up here, and then work my way out from here. Okay. So those are my larger ones there. After that, I'm going to get into uh, my smaller single lines. So I'm just going to break up the areas with either straight or curvy lines that go around these areas. Okay, So I'm going to switch over to my next one um, that I finished up earlier. And once I get to this point, I'm going to start painting now. So I'm going to add some color or some black paint into it. As far as brushes go, I would probably use a medium and a small brush today, uh, starting with your larger one first. And you're going to just get some of the black paint, nice and careful. And you're just going to fill in um, those areas that have black. Now, I would start with the bigger branches first. So for example, these right here, and just fill in with the big solid black line. Coming in here, using the edge of your brush. And then once you get over to the other ones here, so let's say you're ready for these smaller ones, that's when you want to move over to the smaller brush. And then you're just going to go right on top of that pencil line, creating a thinner line there. Okay, you just kind of work it there going back and forth and really filling it in. And then finally, here's my other one that I have that I was working on that I have all painted in and I started to do some oil pastel. So when you get in here next time, I'm going to be going over uh, different color choices, how to blend colors uh, with oil pastel throughout your work. 